How to invest in real estate with only 5,000 pesos? O, diba? It's too good to be true, especially sa real estate. But actually, guys, it is possible. And kaning product na ni, kaning investment na ni, is tawag ani is REITs. So this is quite relatively new in the Philippines. Kay, ang first na to na REIT is a REIT, which is nag-launch around August 2020. And the second REIT that we have is from Double Dragon. DDMPR ang yihang stock code. And nag-launch siya around March 2021, if I'm not mistaken. But sa gawa, sa Singapore, sa US, medyo taod-taod na po ang REITs. And that is a privilege sa tuwa na part na naan na REITs sa Pilipinas. At least, kabalo mo, na REITs na siya. And in fact, uh, that is an online program that we also have, which you can also check it out in the description or comment section. Now, ang pangunta na magun sa mata is, unsa man, how do you invest in this thing? Okay? Well, there are four steps na kailangan na to siya himuon o amu ang ginahimo in terms of investing in REITs. First step is kailangan na akay stock brokerage account. Mojo na siya. Without it, dili ni mo ma-access ang REIT because a REIT is considered to be a stock which ang iyahang business model is nagtuyok sa property. And you can earn money pinaagi sa capital gain and cash flow. So that's the beauty of it. So it's like really investing in real estate. It's just that it's more accessible and mas barato siya and you don't need to manage it. The second thing is, kailangan punduhan na to o kwarta ang atuang account. It's like opening a bank account, na ba, magbutang ka kwarta dito and makita ni mo si mong passbook or online transactions kung pila na ba ang imuhang kandida na na dito. So it's the same thing with our stock brokerage account. Pag punduhan na to siya kwarta, at least na akay funds to use para ika-invest sa REIT. Ang thinking mangod sa uban kay pag human nila og open og stock brokerage account automatic investor na sila sa REIT that is not how it works you need to fund it and use that fund to invest or buy that certain REIT the third step is you need to research before investing ani mangod sa pagkaron sa Pilipinas natay duha ka book REITs di ba pero uh, in the future mad- madungaga na siya no and lahi-lahi po na silang mga business model, lahi-lahi po na silang mga stock price and whatever dividend yields ang ilang ihatag sa mga tao. So you also have to do your own research before investing. Dili kay nindot lagi ang REIT, magpataka lang po tag invest sa REITs da yun. Right? You have to understand that there is a business model and ikaw mismo kasabot ba ka kung unsa imo ang gisudlan na investment. After that, Let's say after you research na kayong kag, uy, guwapo DDI, kaning a rate or kaning DDMPR or whatsoever ng mga REITs na mong gawas na diha. Then the fourth step is for you to buy or invest na. So this is one of the greatest or should I say one of the investments sa pwede nato siya i-maximize. And once again, we currently have an online program that's running right now, open for enrollment siya. And you can check the link in the description or sa comment section as well before it closes. Now, question of the day is this. Para sa inyo ha, unsa ba inyong pananaw about REITs? Do you find it a good investment? Do you find it as a good alternative for real estate investing? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section.